about a, um, I shared a video earlier today about a pastor in Tennessee that was like yelling about <clears throat> children with autism having, like being demonic. And um, I don't really talk about my son, but he does have autism. Aspects of development. Um, he my was, son is autistic, so he okay. Would your do you believe that your son could be be manipulated into murdering somebody? Yes, you do. Yes. Why? And how? And where is your son at on the le, on on the on the spectrum? He's high functioning. He's high functioning. Why do you think that that could because happen? Because they're vulnerable. Because that you're you're actually the first one that we've talked to that has said that. I think anyone that has autism can be manipulated because they're vulnerable have you seen him his his so that video for sure like is very hurtful um those comments are really hurtful to parents and kids and adults that have autism and um i just think about how like hateful hate this what Vaughn, i don't want you to cry or scream what is wrong i'm online honey um, I just, Elizabeth, I told him, I just told Sam, I want, I just, I got those flames hanging fans, like, the, I mean, the fans that, like, make the awesome noise, like, our radio thing outside. Yeah. I was trying to look around. I don't want you using the wind chimes right now. It's too, mm -hmm. no, it's too loud in here. Well, the fans, that sound. Yes, that's what that's what they're called as wind chimes, and I don't want you using those right now. They're too loud. Go play with the new orca. And stop yelling at Sam. All of these people, right. all of these like so called super ultra conservative Christians like this man are. How hateful they are. I don't understand in what world calling a child a demon is even appropriate. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I can't for the life of Bats are 100% FDA approved Mommy. ingredients and totally Mommy. good and safe for you to use. Mommy. What? Oh, I'm gonna I'm talking to the Yeah. Mom, why do you always interrupt me? I just want to tell you that Danny just uh, more talking I was trying to help my 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 mammoth my my um um widows yeah and I told him the problems and then stairs and you always want them because of all that yelling. Okay, okay, that's fine. Goodbye. Sorry, you guys. He's mad at his dad about yelling at him. Why don't you come over to my hotel tonight? We can watch a movie together. He said, sounds good. Later on, he messaged me first and told me, hey, straight up, I've never done anything with a guy before. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, to treatment or to therapy. What? Hold on. I'm on. Well, I'm, I don't, go find your dad. Sorry guys, that was my son. Like all these kids want is friends. All they want is acceptance. All they want is to be loved. And then that stuff is put out into the world and it's like, how could you even talk like that about a kid? I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. It just bothers me as a mom. I can't understand how a Christian would speak about someone that way. I thought that like... Christians were supposed to be loving and kind and like do what Jesus wanted and I didn't realize that they called you to tell people that a child with a disability is a demon and evil. All that does is for extremely misunderstood diagnosis and misrepresented in the public. All that does is 
further stereotype these kids as misfits and psychotic and bad kids. They're not bad kids. They have a disability. Their brains are not the same. They're neurodivergent. Their wiring isn't like ours. They can't control their emotions the same way. They don't know how to process things the same way. That doesn't make them evil. That's it. Because they don't sit perfectly on your blanket when you're hitting them and they try to move off the blanket when you're spanking them. Are you going to just beat them more? Because I'm sure in these cultures and in these worlds, it's the kids that have the disabilities that are getting beat up the most because they're not compliant because they don't know how to be. Hold on one second. You cannot have him screaming like that. It drives me crazy. And I don't bring up my son because... It's his business and it's his life and it's his privacy. But like, dude, someone needs to speak up for these kids because it's not fair how they're treated. It's not fair how insurance companies are like treat kids with autism. It's not fair how kids with chronic illness are treated by, oh man, parents of kids like this feel so damn helpless because we want to help our kids and at every roadblock, there's so many roadblocks thrown up in front of us every single day. We fight with insurance companies. We are constantly trying to get our kids accommodated in class. We have to deal with IEPs and arguments with teachers to make sure that services are met and, and dealing with people trying to cut corners and, and educators not trying, like basically giving us the bottom of the barrel education because they just don't have the bandwidth or the understanding or the care or concern to help. Like that's what we face. We're tired. We're tired of being told that our kids are bad. We're tired of being told that, like, we don't have, like, it just makes us feel like our kids are invisible. You just want to put us out on an island so that you don't have to deal with us, and that's not fair. Why can't I put you on an island so I don't have to hear your voice and your ignorance? Come on. I have spent 10 hours in that room. biggest stereotype about these kids is that they don't know how to have relationships and they don't know how to attach and they don't know how to be affectionate and that's not true like my son is so affectionate he is like so hands-on and always wants hugs and always wants kisses and he's not like he craves emotional connection like a single one of his peers defended him imagine imagine Hey, Terry, how about you just keep your opinions to yourself and let me vent without making this about you? And how about you just like listen without getting defensive and saying things like don't throw an entire profession under the bus? What does this have to do with you, Terry? You could have just said, I understand. Like, where did I throw an entire profession under the bus? I'm sharing my frustrations. God, people are so insensitive and make everything about themselves. Like that's the another that's another thing that drives me crazy about online. You can't even share without people being so selfish that they literally make everything about themselves when someone's literally just sharing their frustration. When you say shit like that, it's like people don't want to open up. Why would I share anymore if I can't even honestly express how I feel sometimes where this is how I'm feeling. It's weird to like be opening up and all I see is you guys sitting there talking about yourselves. 
So you have a nephew that's autistic, great. Like you aren't living this life every day. You're not a parent of a child with special needs. You don't get it. It's like so easy to seriously like say that you're a teacher and think that you can relate because you can't. You're not living the life. You're not with the child every day. You don't deal with the frustrations. You're not dealing with the insurance companies. You're not dealing with the advocacy that's nonstop, 100% all day. <laughs> no, I spent all day on the phone with the insurance co company, Ms. Mercy Monroe. All day. That's what I did. All day on the phone with the insurance company. <laughs> And um, until a year ago, I handled 100% of everything my son did because I was, uh, both of us were working and I took care of everything. Seen teachers out there. What does it matter if I make a joke calling child's uh, crotch brutes? That's a joke. That's not like being serious. And I didn't call them disease riddled crotch fruit. You're just adding the disease ridden part. I said crotch fruit, which is literally a joke. It's like a goblin. It's like calling a kid a goblin. It's a joke. Take your Karen ass and get out of here. <laughs> Bye, Chelsea. You're psycho too. I didn't call it a disease-ridden crotch goblin. Like, they totally added that. Without a crystal ball.